Hello folks and welcome back to Ravenport. Here we are in June 2. The money's gone up by twice as much just because since last episode we've been doing a lot of contracts. We've done contracts on Fields 9, 10, Fields 1 and some photos of contracts as well. So yeah, what I'm going to do now is include some short clips of us completing these contracts whilst we're selling some of our products here. And then we'll resume on with the rest of the episode. As we sink in, the total sum of all that is just under four grand, so not too shabby. So yeah, I've got some big plans today. One of the things I want to put in is the juice factory, so we can get juice on the way. There is a requirement for sugar, but that's only for lemonade, so... I think worst case scenario, we can buy some sugar in that if needed. But yeah, so between the episodes, I thought... Yep, yeah, first of all, I was going to hop on and just start recording, but then I thought... Saw all these contracts popped up, all the hay contracts and that, so... I thought, heck it, spent a couple of hours doing these contracts. And then, yeah, so we've doubled our money, pretty much. That does help us with purchasing new land, possibly in the future, but for now... I want to get the juice factory in at some point in this episode. Along with that, I want to start drilling because we're at the literal last point we can drill with this year's crop. And this year's crop being soybeans. Because yeah, we look at the crop window, soybeans is the only crop we can do. Obviously you can do olives and poplars and that, but I ain't gonna do those. Saying that Doing poplars wouldn't be the worst of ideas. I need to figure out how long poplar takes to grow, because we know wood chips are extremely worthwhile. It's going to take, I think it's about a year or so for them to grow. Putting out a huge field of poplar in, and yeah, actually, I think we could be on course for some record profits, I think, because. Yeah, wood chips are extremely valuable on this map, so... Actually, I may have a little some research, so... Bear with me a sec. So, doing a bit of research, yeah. Actually, it is 30 months for them to grow. So... But obviously, that's with, without seasons, so... We're not sure what it is with seasons. But if I had to guess, maybe it's around... The, 30 months, 12, 30 months. It's going to be at least 30 months. It ain't going to be quicker than that, so... Realistically, if we plant it now, or in July, let's say around September or October of next year, when is it a good price for wood chips? So, wood chips, they're at a peak around January or February, so... Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure on that, but... We'll cross that bridge when we get there, I may do some research in between the next episode. And yeah, we'll kind of have a little research on that. But yeah, so we've got a tray full of everything, all the vegetables and that. So yeah, all the animal do that. I thought, yep, yeah, sort of the episode, get them sold. I'm thinking how much we can get for all of this, so... So yeah, if we want sugar for the lemonade, we need to plant some sugar beet. Unfortunately, I can't do that till next year. Also, I want to do some dry corn and that, so that's going to require a fair bit. And also, I notice how low this drill is, so let's go and fill this up. So, go and purchase some seeds. Uh, do I have you no know, just a farm supply pack stuff? Unfortunately, you can't get no cheap seed in that. Actually, yes we can, so bear with me a sec. I know, I know I said I was going to use some of the common mods I use, but... Things like seed in that, I'm going to use an old friend of mine. The multi-crop greenhouse, so bear with me a sec. So, there we go. Yep, got a multi-crop greenhouse pack downloaded. I'm not going to use it for things like the fertilizer now, so I'm going to use what the map provides, but for things like the seed in that, I'm going to use this. So, I'll purchase two. Because, yeah, I think that side was just over a full tank it took to get all this drilled. 
And also, we do need to fertilize this grass field, but you know what? Let's go and drill it in. And actually, is this is a direct drill? I think it is. Ah, no, it ain't. So, it looks like we we'll need to cultivate the field. So, that's lovely. Wait, you who? Go to get this unfolded and filled up. And then we'll head back to the farm. So right, we're topped up and I did purchase the Valstrad uh, front tanker in that. So in terms with the exact mod, it's right at the bottom. So yeah, the Valstrad Tempo VTP V8 FH2200. And yep, yeah, I'll leave a description of who is by. Also, I got and purchased our Chrome Baylor. So when it comes to doing things like the hay contracts and that. Hay or even grass bells if you need grass bells for things like sheep and that. We've got a solid baler there, so I'm gonna leave that down there for now. Oh yeah, I will select soybeans. And yeah, I've gotten a weird suspicion that well, if there's other crops. Fair enough, we can't do it, but what about grass? Can we... Can we just plant a crop over said grass? I wonder... So going there you? Three, one. And the answer is, of course, a big fat no. So that means we got to cultivate, so... This is going to be fun. And actually, I've got an idea. What is the linkage on our cultivator? It is a pin hook, so... Would the pickup work with this? Because if I get the pickup to work, then maybe have two doing that at once? Or do we really look at purchasing another tractor, so... It's got to be a, another medium tractor, something cheap, less than a hundred grand. Traction Tiger now. Yeah, because I don't need something with like a front load or anything. I can really get away with anything, pretty much. Got the mass season at 54 grand for that. But with the big engine, we're looking at 69 grand. Nice. 69 grand for 108 horsepower. Or do I just go with a case nap? It's going to be on the more expensive side, I'll admit. But I think really it is a good option for us. Two six one four hundred thirty eight each. Maybe not these. Yeah, I think two, not 249. Actually, let me have a look at these options a sec. And yeah, I decided to purchase this. This is the Magnum 7150 version. 249 horsepower for, I think it was like 108 grand. And then for an additional 10 grand, I bought another disc arrow, same as before. Of course, this type in a matching case red, so I've got a worker already with the Deutsche Fart doing the cold beating. And yeah, with fills like these, especially where we're going to be expanding now, we can redo really with focusing on the fleet at the moment. Also, things like harvesters and that, we're honestly doing good at the moment. The, the weird combo setup I've got at the moment with that combine officer with a massive 9 meter header. But with the mod I'm using for the header, there is like a 10.1 meter version of it, so I may do some tests and see if that can work. But besides from that, yeah, because the header itself for the 9 meter is 50 grand, combine itself is 69 grand or so, without the options. Obviously, at the moment, I'm not worried about upgrading combine. 
Speaking of anything, just get another one. Have two on the go. Okay, so okay, that's the work there. He's on the return trip. What I'm going to do is, I'll do a head in order to first of all. And then after that, we'll start going up and down. And yeah, this won't take us too long, I don't think. So yeah, let me get this all done. And I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here. go that did not take long at all We've got all the coal being done case okay, so that's been put away and now it's time to start the drilling so I think what I'll do is I'll start off with the Deutsche Varnitz get a few passes done and that a few heads in, especially on this part here because we're it's so close to the farmyard and then, yeah, what I'll do is I'll sort of work off, and then with the case, I will attach it to the roller. So yes, we do have a roller, 12.3 meters, and at 50 miles an hour, so it is going to catch up to this. So I think by the time we've done the first field of this, if we get sent off on the other fields, by the time we're all done, in theory, we should be all good. Actually, you know what? I'm going to set off a worker now. Because, yes, whilst worker's doing with that, I'm going to take this back up to the main farm because I think it's time to get the juice factory underway. Because, yeah, I want to start making some profits and that. And even though, yeah, we're already making profits, I want to make even more money so I think here is going to be a good spot hop into build mode and now to avoid any instances like with the road over here this is going to be placed as far as back towards the field as I can get away with but first of all I need to level the terrain so yeah this is going to be extremely important there we go and that should do it and what we'll do is grab the soften tool and yeah it's going to soften the edges so it's a bit more smooth over here Oh yeah, I know I'm wasting money in that, so I'm not wasting money, I could get away with without doing all this, but 
I just want to make my life so much easier. So yeah, we're going to our productions. And... Uh, which one's it? Towards... It's like somewhere halfway down. So yeah, there we go. 40 grand. So overall, not too shabby. I need to put my interactive icons on. Or interactive markers, just so I know where it all points to. So yeah, there we go. Okay, trigger is there now. Input and output is here, so... I want to go somewhere... I should let the worker turn around first of all. Oh yeah, <laughs> bit of a bump there. How is that worker going to interact? But yeah, once they've turned around, I'll take over and do about three or four strips up and down this way. Just so I give the worker enough room to turn around. So yeah, I think at least three would do. So there we go. Worker's out of the way. Come on, find the spot. There we go. Place it down. Yeah, cost an extra 200 for terrain, 198 bucks. Overall, not too fast. And now, start just going to paint some bits in that. Just going to tidy the area up a little bit. And there we go. I think it actually looks quite good, actually. A couple of little bits here and there, I will admit. We need to sort out, but... Overall, we're looking good. Nothing else has spawned up yet. And yeah, I'm thinking we could do with some more greenhouses and that. But for now, I am happy with everything. And actually, what I'm going to do is... So, them names going to keep off. So, apple, oranges, and pineapple. So what I'm going to do is set them to store. Everything else is going to be distributing. There we go. Actually, how much is sugar? So for sugar itself, I can get sugar for 600 bucks for 200 years. Or there is the one by the map. And yep, yeah, six grand for a thousand years. Oh uh, no, with this I can get twice as much. So, I'm thinking. Actually, what is the ratio? So, we've got 2,000 litres. And is it. What's the ratio? So, the eminent is 5 to 1. So, for the eminent itself, we're going to need to divide it out. So, 400 litres. So, all we need is literally two pallets of that, so I think, you know what, let's get a bit more now, let's get six. Six or so would do. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Actually, you know what? Eight. I'm going to get extra because it seems us have to go, <laughs> yeah down the road of get more and yeah that is part of the oven and artillery production so let's go and pop these in and actually that does mean we have to adjust these a little bit so you're distributing and you're distributing so next let's go and grab the sugar so there we go, 2,000 litres, and yeah, these are some very light bags of sugar. Fair enough, I could stick them onto the roof, I wasn't sure how big they were. But I'm guessing for a artisan bakery in that, or art artisan oven in that. Makes sense, they're not going to be like massive in that, so... But yeah, I am interested to see of what we get out of this. So there we go, sugar's going in. And in terms of capacities and that, yeah, very breaking sweat. Could do with a bit more sugar if we wish, but 
That is more than enough sugar for now. Skip to the following hour. Let's see, actually, skip one hour or two and see how much we can produce. Alright, so I may have to go a bit longer. And yep, so far we've got a hundred liters. And yeah, I'm not sure what the size of these pads are going to be, whether it's 500 liters or a thousand liters. But yeah, if we have a look at how much we're going to get per thousand liters for each of these, we are going to make some money from these. It is going to be worth it down the road. So yeah, apple juice, 2700. We're going to look at the peak price. Three grand, three grand, three grand, and three grand. So. Overall, very consistent. And, yeah, and I think in my production review, this actually turns out to be the least profitable production chain. But in a way, it still works as well, so... But, anyway, so we've got that up and running. We are drilling. Oh yeah, I'm just going to stick with this, and as I mentioned before, by the time we're done with this field, what I'll do next is get the worker on seeding the other fields. May do a head in or two first of all. And then yep, I'll start doing the rolling. And by the time we're all done, we should be lovely jubbly all good. So yeah, let's go and get this done. And I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here. It's almost four o'clock. We've got everything drilled, everything's been drilled, everything's been rolled. Money has changed, that's because for one, we've bought this. We bought a herbicide sprayer. And also we sold the mulcher, because I've yeah, I forgot to use it with, with the grass, because I could have mulched the grass first of all. And in fairness, it will have took too long. But anyways, I've gone and returned that. I've also gone and sold the extra tank on the front of the furrow spreader, or the, no sorry, the seed drill. So yeah, we've got all of our soybeans in. Also there was a section here at the fertilizing, got that fertilized. But thankfully, because most of this was grass, well all of it was grass obviously, <laughs> we got a free application of fertilizer. Everything is growing. And yeah, don't know what uh, we were patches there for, but 
yeah, soybeans. So that means come November, we're going to have a lot of profit. Of course, with all this money we spend in, once again, I forgot, one of our goals is to pay off that loan, half of the loan. Yeah, because that's why we had all that money for, that 100 grand in spend on stuff. Yeah, that was meant to go towards... Yeah, go towards paying off the loan, so... Hopefully we get some more contracts coming up between now and September. But for now, we're going to sell some... Uh, what's it? Soilage. So yeah, soilage. How much can we get for those? I know it's not going to be too much. 278 at Sarah uh, Sorry for container, so... Not too bad, not the best price, but not the worst, so... Let's go and sell those. And there we go, at the train yard. So yeah, sell off the container. Go and sell off the side edge. 30,000 litres, should get about 10 grand for that. 8,300, so much not quite, so... Yeah, may not seem much in that, but all in all, we need some money at the moment. Also, we did sell three storage bells during the time lapse, so that's because as I was going around collecting all of our equipment and returning it to the yard, somehow I forgot three storage bells in the field, so what I got done was just got sold those. I'll show you the time lapse I did, it was about four grand or so. So, yeah, overall, looking not too bad right now. And I think before we head off for the episode, I'm going to skip some ahead of time a little bit. Because I will see some juice padded, so let's rest up a little bit and see some juicy pallets. So, right, it is July the 1st, and yep, yeah, we've got some pallets. So, these are looking rather good. Unfortunately, these are not liftable, and yeah, these are weirdly 432 litres. And actually, because of the sugar in that, well, not because of the sugar, but we're getting more out, so yeah, that's a 5 to 4. And that is a 5 to 5, a 1 to 1, same amount of cycles per month, but getting slightly a little bit more than need, so unfortunately not going to be rolling in the bank just, yeah, just yet. But yeah, overall, that is actually going up, so two greenhouses are apparently enough, so you know what, I'm happy with that, so that's where I think we'll leave it today. Next time we've got weeding to do. And I think if I just have a little test strip of it now, just to see how difficult this is going to be. To tell the difference between what is weeds and what isn't. And, ooh, actually before I do that, I'm going to need some narrow tires. I didn't have narrows for either of these tractors, so let's go and put narrows on this. A thousand pounds a day, plus four hundred dollars in that. We are spraying. And yeah, is there a difference between what is herbicide and what isn't? And I think the short answer is yes, but not really. It's no. Actually, like, at this angle, you can tell the difference between behind us where it's just patches of green. Whilst to the left of us, it's a lot more greener, so I'm guessing I can tell the difference, but not the best, I will admit, so. But yeah, I think overall, we'll give it our best attempt. And God, we're going to go through quite a bit of herbicide with this on his field, so I'm going to need to do some contract work. And thankfully, we've got a combine down here. And yeah, we've accepted three contracts for oats and wheat. Wheat's got to go to the South African container. And the oats, 17 and 22, are going to go to the ranch. So I'll do 22 first of all down here. And on our way to the ranch, 
the head 17, which is right next to it. So, if I just show, yep, 17 is right there. Ranch is up there. And also, because we're in the Elon Bunny at the moment, what I'm going to do is collect the straw from these fields. So, that does require using the. Uh, uh, this forest pick up in that. And yep, again, I know a mod I've used before, but this only mod I can use that uh, lets you have the ability to collect straw, so I don't think I've got it installed, so in between episodes, what I'll do is I'll install the mod, get all these contracts done, and then go from there, and then, yeah, next time what we'll do is Herbicide field. Also, pause for start looking at because we've got that propane tank at the yeah at the dealership area shop. So perhaps what we can do is our daily or like, since we're doing two day months, yeah, so twice a month, sell some propane. Do a local daily propane delivery net. Obviously, I could cheat the system and that and just go bang bang bang. Constantly do 100, 200 trips, and we'll have a lot of money. But I don't want to do that. What I prefer to do is, yeah, do that one day trip in that for the locals in that, in a way. But yeah, so we'll get onto that in the next episode. But, anyways, that's what we're going to do for today. And as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash the button, feel free to comment below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to channel yet, please consider. But, what you do? Who can I stay? But for now, this will be Farmer Ever Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.